Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. Hi. This is a video about PCOS. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. This is a video about PCOS. I have had PCOS. I've been, di I, blah, 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 redo. I was diagnosed with PCOS in my 20s and I wanted to share some of the things that have worked for me because I know a lot of you are sitting there going, I have PCOS and I feel completely hopeless. We actually often get a lot of people saying, I was just diagnosed with PCOS and I feel hopeless. I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm going to be miserable now for the rest of my life. I want to tell you, when I started researching PCOS, when I finally was diagnosed with it, it was really difficult for me to get a diagnosis of it. When I did, the first thing that I read in every article or book that I read doing research about it said losing weight is pretty much impossible. I was almost 300 pounds and I can tell you I am standing here now 130 pounds lighter with PCOS. It is super possible and I didn't do it with crazy diets, I did it with portion control and moving my body. That's it. So I want to tell you it's not hopeless, you can do it. If I could do it at almost 300 pounds, you can do it. And my symptoms were pretty bad. Some of the really bad ones, I had really bad acne. I had terrible excess hair growth and I had all those dark patches in your armpits, under your breasts, in all the areas that you're supposed to have them with PCOS, I had them in bad. A lot of those with weight loss faded. I still get the excess hair growth but all the dark patches have faded. I do not get acne anymore. I have some acne scarring. It's very, very faded and I wanted to show you that because some of the things, I still get symptoms and I wanted to show you some of the things that I've been doing and taking and eating recently that have helped minimize what's left of my symptoms and have helped improve some of them as well. Basically just to tell you and help inspire you that there's stuff out there that you can do at any part in your journey and it will, they will all help you. You are not hopeless. You can make having and living with PCOS better for yourself every single day. I thought it was a, a death sentence, I guess. Like, this is it, I'm gonna be a man. For I'm gonna have all these man symptoms. And it's embarrassing and you know, you're, you, you don't have a menstrual cycle. I had no period at all. And I just want you to know that I understand because I've been there and I've struggled and know that you're not alone. There are many, many women that struggle with this and I'm sure there are many, many women that have lost weight and improved their symptoms. And I'm standing here to tell you, I've got some stuff for you. So diet and exercise is king. Portion control and moving my body got all, all the weight off, which helped minimize the majority of my symptoms and fade some of them away completely. But there are also supplements that I've started taking that have also helped minimize some stuff, make me feel less bloated, make my stomach a little leaner, because I do, even though I can lose weight with PCOS, losing belly fat for me is a lot harder. And it is with PCOS, but it's not impossible. So I'm gonna show you that stuff. I also wanna show you a, a few of the things that I believe helped minimize the acne scarring from my PCOS, from the bad cystic acne that I got. So I'm gonna go through that stuff and I've also started recently doing and taking a couple of things that I could, can't guarantee results yet, but I wanted to show you in case you'd like to try them as well. I wanna start with the food. 
With PCOS, I ate carbs the whole way through. I still do, but I had to switch out my carbs and I've also found there are some things that bloat me with PCOS really badly to the point where I'm up all night because I can't sleep because the bloating's so bad. And then there are things that I feel leaner with and my stomach is definitely flatter when I eat them. You want, um, I found eating slower digesting foods is a, is a big win for myself. Minute rice, I, I love this stuff. This is the whole grain brown rice and I do not feel bloated at all. It keeps me full and it aids me in where, wherever I am in my fitness journey. Losing weight, building muscle, this is a, a staple and as you can see, it, we use it all the time which is why it's in a reusable tub. Another one, sweet potato. Beautiful, slow digesting food that is so easy to utilize in making everything. You can use, you can make pancakes out of sweet potato. You can do a whole lot of things. We've made french fries. Um, you can bake them. You can, you know, whatever you want to do with them. They're pretty versatile. Yeah, that's the word that I forgot. They're versatile. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> That's what I keep them around for. And to hold the camera. Yes, that too. <laughs> this is the food I was talking about that bloats me. These are simple, quick cook oats. These I discovered really bloat me. However, these are also quick cook oats, but they are steel cut and that made a huge difference for me. I don't bloat when I eat these. I feel like it helps fuel my day, gives me energy, keeps me full because it's slow digesting, and I am my stomach is flatter and leaner and not bloated because of these. Last food, I started eating, I was eating whole grain bread, and that helps, it works better than white bread. I don't get as bloated, but I still get bloated with the whole grain bread. So I switched to sprouted grain bread, I've been eating the Ezekiel kind and... How do you say that? I'm trying to say it appropriate. Ezekiel. <laughs> Sorry. But I like to say Ezekiel. <laughs> so, I was trying to say it appropriate. So anyway, I eat this Ezekiel bread <laughs> and it, it tastes great. It's versatile. Stealing my husband's word. Where'd you learn that word from? <laughs> I give the credit and it's really tasty and it again stomach less bloated flatter leaner because of these so those are beautiful whole grain slow digesting carbs that made a huge difference in my life with my PCOS that I wanted to share with you guys and uh, show you next the skincare stuff that I found really helped fade all my acne scars. Once my acne started going away, I did have to use, I used the Clinique skincare line for acne prone skin for years until my acne went away. And then I started using this Clinique even better clinical serum. It, it specifically targets like the dark spots and scars and things like that. And it is, pricier than serums you can buy at the drugstore but it's totally worth it because this this used to be so totally visible and it is barely noticeable now unless obviously I go hey, look at my acne scars but this was played a huge part also I discovered um, with PCOS as I'm getting older <laughs> <laughs> You might be looking at me going, uh, you don't look very old, but I'm 35 and I have noticed in the last three or so years. No, some... you didn't get the joke. I was laughing because you're old. I know. I was laughing because you're a literal old lady. Okay. That's what was funny to me. Not because, oh, you look young. No, you're an old lady. That, I know. that was funny. I know. <laughs> he loves that I'm an old lady. Older but, than me. But he's older. You're a way older lady than I am. Yeah, because 37 is younger than 35. <laughs> so anyway, I get dry skin 
and I noticed that when my hormones are off, my skin gets more dry. So I, I did some research and clay masks and hydrating masks really seem to help, they said. So I, I bought one, this is the L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay Mask, and I do it once a week and you put it on for 10 minutes. I have noticed a huge difference. I used to get a lot of like really itchy, dry skin around my nose and it's pretty much gone now. Even in the really harsh, cold winters, because in Canada it can get pretty cold, and my skin stays really soft and, and moist. It can get harsh. <laughs> then I also discovered, this is also L'Oreal Paris, these are the Bright Reveal Brightening Peel Pads. It's basically like, um, melts your face off. <laughs> it's, a, it's a face melting exfoliation. And you just um, do it in a circular motion on your face after you wash your face and do your toner and stuff. And it has evened out my skin tone. I noticed a difference in the first week of using them. So I use one every single day and you get a month's worth of pads. You get 30 pads in here. And I use one every single day and I notice improvement still. And I've been using them for a few months now. I think this is my third third jar. So those, those are perfect if you've got like scarring and, and uneven skin from your cystic acne or whatever PCOS does on your skin for you. Now I'll show you the supplements that I started taking. All of these supplements they all are designed to regulate your blood sugar level, so your, your insulin. This one, Chromium, is supports healthy blood sugar levels. I get the 1,000 MCGs, whatever that is. Any brand works, but I definitely notice a difference when I'm taking that. So basically, when you're, when you're insulin resistant, PCOS makes you insulin resistant, and when you're insulin resistant, you carry more jiggle in your middle. <laughs> more. And on Oreos, that's good. Well, on the cream and the Oreo, but not on your human body. <laughs> yeah, not on your Oreo body, on your human body. <laughs> I made myself laugh. That alpha lipoic acid also does that and also helps with lowering your testosterone, which uh, I have noticed a slight change. Every year that I get older, because I'm an old lady, I notice more hair loss. That's the one thing that did not go away when I lost weight was the thinning of my hair. And when my hormones are off, I can lose several handfuls of hair in one hair wash. I have noticed a slight change taking this regularly, and this is 300 milligrams. I take one a day, and I take one a day of the chromium as well. And then, myo-inositol, the inositol for short, but the, the big name is myo-inositol. You want the powder. I discovered that the powder is much more potent than the pills, and for this brand, Best Naturals, I got it off Amazon, and I take one teaspoon a day. I take half a teaspoon in my water in the morning and half a teaspoon in my water at night. And it's tasteless. You just, I just put it in my water, shake it, drink it. You can't taste it at all. This stuff is supposed to help regulate your menstrual cycle. It's from the research I've done is supposed to help with fertility because it helps regulate your cycle. And basically is supposed to help with the extra weight that you're holding in the middle. It's supposed to help you lose weight easier with PCOS and basically help regulate a lot of your out of whack hormones. I have definitely noticed, if you're gonna take, if you're gonna try something, I have definitely noticed a difference taking this inositol and it is worth every single penny and I have repurchased it three times. And I just got a new jar in the mail today from Amazon. I'll just show these three again. Um, I am definitely, I was definitely, I've recently been losing um, some extra body fat lately. 
and I know taking the inositol has helped me to be able to do that. My stomach has gone down a lot. It's a lot leaner and flatter than it used to be after taking the inositol. And obviously, diet also plays a part, but this has definitely helped. I have noticed it was easier for me to lose some of the extra belly fat, but it's not going to like drop your belly fat from my experience, but it did help. I do feel less bloated when I take this. I've done an experiment where a couple of days I, I didn't take it and I did notice a difference. Then there's one last thing that I wanted to share with you guys. A couple of things that I started recently that I don't have for sure results on yet, but I'm really starting to notice and I specifically wore my hair in a ponytail so you can see that I do have thinning and balding areas all along my hairline and all around like my ear area here on the left side of my head and I'm noticing it more and more in pictures when I have my hair parted I do notice there's a difference and when my hair's down if I lift part of it I can see a full line where the hair is completely gone and so I'm not I've done research and it says Rogaine for women will really help, but I'm not ready to do the Rogaine just yet. Ladies, any of you out there who are using it for PCOS, feel free to drop a line and let me know what you think. If it's worked for you, um, I would love to know your opinion on that because I'm still sort of playing around with the idea because you have to take it every single day and if you stop, it your hair will fall out basically like the stuff that grew back not your whole head but so I decided to to do this step first these are vitamins that are supposed to promote hair growth and these this specific brand Nutri cap which I got at shoppers um, I just want to read to you it promotes the growth and development of hair and it's specifically formulated here for hormone variations which that's what PCOS is your hormones are all off you have extra testosterone so I thought I'd give it a shot it's two months worth in here you take two a day and by the end of the box I did some research and a lot of people's after the box seen results in their hair growth where it was thinning out so I'm looking forward to trying it out if you've tried it out let me know and one other thing I decided to do was buy a shampoo and conditioner formulated for thinning hair and hair loss in women. And these are formulated for hair loss. And it's Kalea. I got these at Shoppers. And they're meant to like help stimulate and regrow the hair where, where you're losing it. And I did research on these as well, and apparently they're, uh, they do help. So I, I use that. What I can tell you is that my hormones are off currently. When I'm on my menstrual cycle, my hormones go even more off than on a normal day because of the PCOS. And when I wash my hair, when I'm having a menstrual cycle, I can literally come away with hands full of hair after I wash it. I did wash my hair today and I came away with like half a handful of hair versus the two or three that I normally, handfuls I normally come away with. So it, I did notice a difference already in one day. Let's hope that it helps. Again, if you try these, let me know. Share it around with the friends in the comments too. If you have PCOS and you do something that has helped you, share away because we're all a community helping each other letting each other know that you can be feminine and you can live a pretty feminine healthy life with PCOS that's not as uncomfortable as it was when you're doing nothing for your PCOS these things have really helped me and I really wanted to share it with you and I also wanted to let you guys know you're not alone and it's not impossible. You can lose weight on PCOS, a lot of weight. You can have a flatter stomach with PCOS and you can pretty much 
minimize a lot of your symptoms with the right diet, the right exercise, and the right supplements, I have done that. And speaking of diet, if you want to see what I eat in a full day so that you can kind of get an idea of what I do, how I eat and lose weight with PCOS, we have a full day of eating that'll be linked down below and I will walk you through my entire day worth of food if you want to check it out. So, the friends. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay. Or what? Or what? This is the weird, nubby, sweet potato of doom. Nubby. Nubs. <laughs> we out, dudes. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Peace out, homies. Peace out, dudes. I got a little wacky. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Love. Love.